Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here again, and it's time to start unboxing our January Loot Haul. And since this is a Neptune figure, I decided why not bring out my entire Neptunia collection so far. So we've got the figure that got me all into collecting, Wings Purple Heart, the regular, you know, goddess version of her. Then we've got Alter's Black Heart. And then in the back, since she wouldn't fit in frame otherwise, is Broccoli's Noir, the regular version of her. But the star of the show today is right in the center. This is Wing's Purple Heart version, or dress version of her. So yeah, two wing figures, both Purple Hearts. Yay. <laughs> purple Heart is best heart. So, I'll be honest, the dress, never been the biggest fan of it. It, it's okay, but doesn't necessarily look as good as her, you know, battle outfit. Still, it's Purple Heart, and I decided I wanted me Purple Heart. So I picked her up. Uh, so let's go into a little bit more details. As I've been saying many times, this is Purple Heart, or Neptune, Neppy Nep. Uh, she is from Hyperdimension Neptunia. This one is from the animation. Uh, she is manufactured by Wing and is a 1 7th scale, and she was released January 26th of 2007. And I decided to buy her back on uh, September 23rd of 2016. Did I say 2007 or 2017 for her release year? Oh, well, yeah, she was released January 26th of 2017, just to be safe. Um... And I didn't pay a horrible price for her. I paid uh, 10,510 yen. So when I ordered her, the exchange rates it worked had worked out to $105. But when I actually paid, the exchange rates had changed in my favor. And I only paid $93.88 for her. So yeah. So there is the front of her box. This is like a very flat box. There's no gloss on it except for the shiny silver parts. This is the side. And then uh, the back. And the other side showing her from the f normal viewing angle. Back to the front. And we've got the top. And the bottom. So yay. Uh, I thought about leaving these girls up for the whole thing, but I'll move them off to the side just just so I don't accidentally bump them and knock them over and break them. Because they're beautiful and they're expensive. They will come back up so we can do comparisons later, but not right now. Okay, so now that we've just got the main star of the show up, let's go ahead and get her open. So there looks to be just one seal on the back, and the knife just fell down. We'll probably need it to cut the blister open. Now I'm kind of bummed because I'm not the first person to get these pictures of her up on MSC this time, but I mean it is what it is have to wait for post office and lighting and stuff. Okay, so the inside of the box is just purple. So, not the greatest inside of a box. And she does have instructions. She has a interchangeable faceplate and arm and earrings. So, I had known about earrings from the people already posting about them. I, I'm considering maybe not putting them in because they're tiny and probably gonna be a pain. But then again, she may look stupid without them. So yeah, there's her instructions. And they, since they're tiny, they're very fragile and it's showing you don't like push on the bottom, push it in with your th thumb on the actual ear peg. And that's how you change her parts around. So we'll put that off to the side for the moment. And we'll look at Neppy Nep and her blister packaging. 
So there she is from the front. And there she is from the side. And the back. And the other side. So yay. Let's uh, get the blister open now. Yep, definitely need the knife for tape on the sides. There we go. I don't even know where that last one was. Oh well. So, here is her base. It's a kind of boring checkerboard pattern, but it's got a raised Neptune logo, which is normally on her butt. And she has a metal peg, if we can focus on it. There we go. Have some focus. So she should be stable enough. Uh, so next, this is her alternate faceplate. And yeah, she has holes for her earrings. So we'll see about those. This is for like when she's biting her glove and pulling it off. Kind of a different look for her. And here is her alternate arm. Come on, focus, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is the one where she's like biting the middle finger and, you know, trying to look all sexy-like. Not that she needs to do anything extra because she is super sexy to begin with. Um... I'm not going to bring them out right this second because they are tiny and they're taped in, but there are six earrings. Now she only has the two face plates, so technically you could probably get away with just two or four, but I'm thinking they're expecting you to break some, so they included some spares. And then the piece de resistance, best heart, purple heart. Nothing left. Okay, so she's got lots of plastic on her. And now it's getting to be sticky plastic. I hate sticky plastic. Come on. Because it's sticky and you gotta be careful with it. So it's usually wrapped around very fragile parts that you don't want to break, but it's sticky. And some around her face, asphyxiating her. And more, okay, you gotta take her hair apart to get that piece off. There we go, there's that. I will take her head off. And we'll take her arm off. And, yeah, sticky, sticky plastic. Where's the end that I can get to? That's underneath. Wing, why? Why can't you use normal plastic? And if you're gonna use the sticky, give us a end or corner that we can grab onto. <laughs> okay, that's all the plastic off. So now, first things first, um, haven't seen it in any of the pictures and, you know, questions must be answered. She is wearing black underwear. So yay. <laughs> gotta, gotta do the perv stuff first. So here is her normal hand that is not being bitten onto. If we can focus. There we go. And just to compare them a little bit. Yeah, the arms are basically the same, but the hands are in different positions. 
Uh, here is her fringe, and she has a very nice purple flower ornament. Here is her head. This is the normal faceplate. You can just take it out like that. She's got a nice little smile on her face. And yes, these this one has the holes for the ears as well, or earrings. And on her braids, her twin tails, she has bows with a nice little ornament. Matches her earrings. And there's the back. And that's what her head looks like with no face. Faceless wonder. And there is her body. So just wiggling around a little bit. Yeah, it the dress definitely feels attached. You, you might be able to, you know, break the figure and force cast it off. I'm not going to do that, of course. She has a big giant bow on her back. Her back doesn't have a whole lot of definition, but you can see the, you know, the center line and a couple the sh hints of the shoulder blades. Uh, she has very nice side boobage. And nice legs. She's got a little, uh, anklet on with a little bow and some pretty nice shoes high heels of course and there's only one peg hole so let's uh, go ahead and get her body on the base maybe the peg this is a very, very tight fit. And her foot doesn't actually touch the base. But that's okay. So there's that. Um, for this video, I'm not going to put the earrings in. Because they are tiny and I don't want to lose them. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll pass on those for the moment. And I may not even use them to, anyways. But, let's see. Which look do we want to look at first? And let's go with the default look. So we'll put that head to the side. We'll put that faceplate in. Put the hair back together. Uh, we'll put her normal hand on. And then put her head on. So she's kind of like grabbing her uh, dress collar, you know, adjusting it because she has large breasts and it's a little uncomfortable maybe. So this is purple heart in her dress and her normal everyday look. And we'll do a nice little spin around of it. She looks pretty good. And I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of a close look as well as I do this. And I'm not seeing any flaws or anything. That's, that's a good sign. Uh, I mean, the little ornaments on her uh, hair ribbons, if you get close, you can see them not being perfect. But, I mean, from a normal distance like where I am now, not going to be able to see it. But yeah, she looks good like that. So let's go ahead and change her look a little bit. So we'll do that. And we'll put this arm on. You may want, actually I'll put the arm on after the head. Just in case. Since it, her finger is supposed to go like in her mouth, kind of like uh, that. You don't want to do paint transfers. <laughs> so we'll try it like this. So it, this head doesn't really want to go on her neck. It's 
a very tight fit. Probably because it ships as a separate piece. And we'll put this on. Nope, wrong, wrong hand. Right hand. And this also is a pretty tight fit. So. Okay, so it doesn't quite touch your mouth. So you're, you don't have to worry so much about paint transfers as long as you're careful putting her together. Uh, kind of is a more upward looking gaze, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna display her with her normal arm. I think it looks a little bit better. And yeah, I'll, I'll probably just leave the earrings off. Because you can't see them. It's hidden by her hair. So, yeah. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and switch her back again, if we can get her apart. As I said, this is a very tight fit. Put this arm back on. And switch the head pieces. If you wanted, you could use this face with that arm too. Have her just giving that little O look. Put it all back together. And remember, she's kind of looking off to the side when you put her head on, so gotta be a little careful with it. Don't try to force it on. Yeah. Uh, let's try to get some close-ups. So there is her beautiful face. She's got her power symbol pupils. And showing under boobs as well. Lots, you know, the entire cleavage and under boobs with nice gaps. Uh, there is a gap right uh, there between her skin and the strap, kind of hidden by her hair. Just shows how busty of a girl Purple Heart is. Oh yes. And yet, I mean, that would be the only place that you'd be able to see her earrings. There and there. So to me, it's not worth trying to put them in. And then we'll look at her hand holding her dress up. It's nicely done. Nicely sculpted. And of course, the bow, the booty, the legs, and the undies, the booty. So yeah. Let's go ahead and put this back down. And of course, try to readjust things. So now, for some comparisons. Uh, first, remember that she is a 1 7 scale. This is a smaller 1 8 scale. This is Noir. So, yeah, Purple Heart definitely is bigger, which is to be expected. And next we'll bring up her friend, uh, Black Heart. So, one thing about these Neptunia figures, they take up a lot of space because everything just goes everywhere. So yeah, they, they kind of look good together. Maybe they'll make a black heart in her dress, which as much as I didn't like Purple Heart's dress, Black Heart's dress was even worse. <laughs> but who knows how they would turn it into a figure. So we'll go ahead and put her off to the side. And now the ultimate comparison. Two Purple Hearts, both by wing, both 1 7 scale. loose. Get that back up. Okay. So maybe push it back a little bit. So just looking at it, uh, the dress version, her hair is definitely a very light, a lighter shade of purple. Uh, it does seem to be more detailed 
which kind of makes sense. It's the there's been like three years between the two releases, two and a half three years. Um, if we lift her up a little bit, yeah, they're about the same size. Uh, the faces are a little bit different. Uh, we look a little bit closer and maybe turn them. So her face is a little bit like wider and bigger than her face. But they still look pretty good together. Not exactly the same though. But anyways, this as I've said is Purple Heart, the dress version from Hyperdimension Neptunia. She is manufactured by Wing and is a 1 7 scale. And she was rele released on January 26th of 2017. I bought her at AmiAmi and I paid 10,510 yen, which was about $93.88 when I bought her, when I paid. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.